Hi everyone! The Designers Channel is here with our new tutorial. It's Xenia and I can't wait to share with you our today's fantastic class. So, the double exposure effect. This is a really hype technique that can bring you a total win if you work on a graphic design project, printable artwork or a movie poster. I bet you already can hear the opening credits for HBO's True Detective. Yeah, after this show, double exposure actions and tutorials were literally everywhere. So, I believe you'll find our tutorial handy and exciting nevertheless. So, let's get started! As you might know, the most important thing in creating the double exposure photo effect is to select the proper photos which will perfectly fit each other. It's quite a process to handpick two or sometimes even three images and build a jaw-dropping composition. That's why I've done it beforehand. All we have to do now is open them in Photoshop. With a simple drag and drop, we move the image with a mysterious person atop the train image in the first document. I give the appropriate name to each layer, which is always a good thing no matter what you are working on. Start with creating a copy of the layer containing the photo of the train and bring it to the top. We'll also need a new layer, so let's create it and name gray. Its purpose is to add the cinematic noise effect and vignette to our artwork. First, we'll fill it with a solid color, for me it's 808080, which is great enough. With a common backspace command, we'll fill the whole layer with color and convert it into the smart object to apply filters afterward. It will be camera raw filter that is my favorite if I need to create an effect of the noise on the tape. Okay? And here, on the effects tab, we have to prove our creativity and set the parameters to get the result. Mm-hmm, that looks good to me. Now, when we're done with the noise effect, let's deal with the vignette. Yeah, that's the one we need. Great, the result is completely satisfying, so we apply it. Let's change the blending mode of our layer to a more suitable one, which would be a soft light. And to make the effect a bit softer, we change the master opacity to 60%. Let's deal with the color transformation now. Get back to the train copy layer and name it Red to Cyan to reflect its future appearance. In the Future Styles panel, we turn off every channel except the red one. You can see the result already. It's easy to guess that by turning off red and turning blue or green channels instead, you will get a completely different result. And I recommend you to play with it all out. We'll stick to get red channel, press OK. It's done. Just gorgeous. And really easy, and it? Now I want to move our top layer a little bit to take full advantage of the double exposure effect and place the stranger right in the middle of the train window, if you need. You can build the missing part of the image by selecting them with Market Tool and by pressing Common Backspace shortcut to the Cont Aware tool and apply it. Our double exposure effect is complete. Since there is always a place for image adjusting, I create two adjustment layers Levels and Exposure. To elevate the contrast and quality of the final image, let's play around with the settings of these two layers. That's just perfect. When we're done, bind these two layers into a folder and name it Filter. As the final touch, I want to place our logo above.
that's it. Hope you guys like this tutorial and even more. I hope you will use this technique in your future projects. Like this video if you, well, like it. Don't hesitate to share your thoughts or ask a question in the comments below. Subscribe if you don't want to miss our new videos and design tutorials. We have a lot of them yet to come. Bye!